Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I am at PGA West. We're gonna play the Nicholas Tournament course today. I'm out here scouting different places for the Be Better Golf School with Tony Lutzak, Jeff Flagg, and myself. So I, I went to uh, three different courses this morning looking at their practice facilities and talking to people. Uh, all of them super nice. This is also very nice. You can see that tent over there. They're already setting up for the Career Builder Challenge, the uh, PGA Tour event that'll happen here in February, maybe, I think. But they set up for these things super early. Um, anyway, so what I really like to first do when I warm up is hit some chips, especially because my chipping has been poor, but it's been getting better. First thing to get better at my chipping and pitching is to start talking better about it, right? So, uh, and actually yesterday I had a really, I played really well, even though it was just a uh, par three course. That's usually the weakest part of my game though, so par threes but I shot one under so that was cool so um what you guys saw in one of these videos over here on the on the right side of the screen or I guess that would be over here huh today I'm playing with Boris a good friend of mine and a pro golfer that works out here and I'm playing with one of the guys who's a an assistant pro and teaches at the PJ West Academy and another guy who's on the La Quinta High School golf team that's a big fan of Be Better Golf watches the channel and stuff so should be a really good group. It should be a lot of fun. Although we are getting started kind of late. Hopefully we'll get it all in. Playing golf. This is Boris. Boris Stanchev, a friend of mine. Here's slow motion. This is the very first hole at the Nicholas Tournament course. Awesome course in La Quinta, California. They're going to play the PGA Tour event there. Coming up pretty soon. Uh, Boris tries to hit a fade with his driver. And this was an absolutely perfect fade right down the middle. Very cool tee flip. We'll see more of his swing in a bit. Awesome tempo. He's like the uh, Bulgarian Hideki Matsuyama. But uh, not, not quite the pause that Hideki has. Uh, here is Boris out of the fairway. So he hit a, a really long drive, and now he's got like a 9 iron in there. And hit it absolutely perfect. He thought he was just going to watch this just dancing. Jumped up on the green well, and spun like off the green. And here he's chipping, really, really good chipper of the ball. Boris does a lot of things really well. Great shot. He's hoping to play on the PGA Tour one day. In the meantime, he's uh, working out here and Thanks playing lots of tournaments as well. All right, that was my putt for a birdie. I made a par on the first hole. These are guys on the second hole. We're passing the second hole to pass them. And we're going on to the third hole, par three. Boris hit an awesome shot here it landed a little left oh, i love that boris members kick jumped yeah, right really. at the stick jumped right at the stick i thought that was going to be another beautiful shot that turned out really bad <laughs> yeah all right and then this is uh nick young nick is a 17 year old be better golf subscriber from la quinta he uh, plays golf at la quinta high school and he won a scholarship that affords him the ability to play basically every course in this area. And the scholarship was an essay and grades and everything. And Nick is a super, super good kid. He's really a uh, really nice guy and loves golf. And this is me. A little thin and short. I think I got that off the toe. No divot. Put myself to this position. You guys know I've been... Uh, Having some problems with my pitching and chipping recently, but I've been working on, I've been working on it a lot, and uh, it's been getting better. Some of your suggestions have helped too. And I went back and watched the pitching prescription again, which is super valuable. It's like uh, scoring-wise, uh, just gold. So there I am. So this is a putt for par on this long par three. It was like 191 yards. Oh, Made it. Ball. So the new putter is working sometimes, and other times it's uh, kind of driving me nuts. This is Boris for birdie. So his, his shot landed on the fringe and then rolled to this point. Awesome birdie. So that, let's uh, tally that up. That's one birdie for Boris so far. He makes a few today, so let's see how many he gets. All right, this is a, after the par three, this is a, a par five, not super long. But a par five, we're playing from the black holes. This is Andrew. Andrew is an assistant professional at the PGA West Golf Academy. 
and uh, a good friend of Boris's and a friend of mine too. And In the summer, that'd be prime time. Right. Awesome oh, shot, dude. dude. Yeah, and Nick hit a good shot, and so so did Andrew. I did not hit a great shot. I went, uh, leaded it off to the right. Not terrible, but. So it's a par five, like I said. So this is hybrid. It's uh, it's it doesn't really show here, but it is well above my feet. I got it choked up. And hit it great. Just like I wanted to. Love my hybrid. You guys always hear me say that. I don't miss with this club. Anywhere it is, I never miss. Yeah, high confidence with that hybrid. Here's Boris going for it in two. He's got about 260 yards. Awesome tempo. Tempo really is the name of the game for Boris. Just has awesome tempo. He's just short of the green, it, it which is, uh, so it's, it's kind of, it rolled, hit the hill and rolled backwards, so he's got a, a while. This is Nick's third shot on this par five, so just hit it well, but he pulled it a little bit, and Did because he get all of the way to pass the green, yeah. yeah, because of the angle of the green, he's actually in the rough. So I have exactly a hundred yards here, and this is a fifty-four degree wedge. One of my uh, Titleist SM sixes. And I hit that really, really well. Like one of the best, tempo-wise and everything else, one of the best wedge shots I've hit. But instead of going 100 yards, a hundred yards, yeah, instead of going a hundred yards, it went about a hundred and six, hundred and yeah, about that, and jumped to this location. So, and talking about my chipping, yep, that was just a little bit unconfident. But I have been chipping better. And that was a little bit more aggressive and, and confident. Yeah. And chipped that in and saved my par. So that was great. Yeah. yeah, fist pumping on the third hole. Third hole that we played. Fourth hole out here. And here is Nick for his par. Mm, almost. Disappointing birdie there. And here's Boris for his second birdie. So he just birdied the par three. Now this is the birdie, the par five. But and those kind of birdies are nice to have. So this is a really interesting hole, split fairways. And uh, so you can either hit driver down the right side or like hybrid down the left. So Boris hit his hybrid down the left-hand side. Andrew's hitting driver. He hit, a, he hit an awesome driver down the right-hand side. That's like 235 to carry that wall. Of course I hit hybrid, but I did tug that one a little bit. And Andrew, and uh, sorry, Nick hit uh, into a little bit, he kind of got a little bit down that hill, a little bit too far right. Yeah, I blocked mine to the right, so it, it ended up, it, uh, pulled it to the left. It ended up in that rough, and then uh, kind of caught a flyer, because it flew all the way back into that scrubby area. I went up into those bushes there. Here's Nick. This is an awesome golf shot he hit. Way below his feet. Hit it to like 10 what feet. What a shot, Nick. Great shot. Yeah, Nick hit that to like 10 feet. This is me up in that. I hit it about 20 yards too far. But I advanced it nicely, actually. That, that looked like a thin and terrible, but actually out of where I was was pretty good because it got grabbed up by this. So now I need to get this up and down to save my bogey, which would, is really a priority not to make any doubles. And that was an awesome chip. That was a lot better. A little bit too float loady for what I'm trying to do, but really good. So I made that and made my bogey. And here's Nick for his birdie. The greens out here right now are just absolutely awesome. Really a lot of fun to put on greens like this. Still not as good as uh, some of the other greens I've, I've played on. Uh, like uh, thinking about the old Waverly greens, they were really great. Um, but as far as in California where the grass is a little bit different, these are the best. Especially at a public spot. 
Yep, I went into the, one of those long, long right bun bunkers down the right-hand side. This is a very long par four. Boris hit kind of a professional pull down the left-hand side. And Nick, you can see, I like his swing because it's got really good backswing position. Very short. Love that, Nick. And not a lot of wrist set, which is something that I aspire to have a shorter swing with less wrist set. So looking at swings like that, it's kind of uh, cathartic for me. So I'm in this bunker and I have lip problems. I'm about 205 yards out or 210 yards out. So this is a nine iron. I'm hoping to get it over the lip. And I didn't. But I advanced it nicely. You can see my ball there on the right-hand side of the, sc the screen. So this is an eight iron. I'm slightly on a downhill here and they're trimming some trees up on the left hand side so sorry about that noise so good tempo here that was really awesome that looked a lot more like the swings I see on TV as far as tempo wise and I hit it to about seven feet so that is really good so that's for par so I turned on the volume here on these tree trimmer guys they're kind of annoying so this is Nick for his par save but did not get that one made a bogey and here's me for my par save after, uh, so this would be a Sandy. So All right, so good. Putting well with the even roll right now. One over par at the moment for me. All right, so this is a par five. They're trimming trees behind us and then down the left-hand side of the tree, they're, they're doing some more work there. And we're playing golf on a Sunday, so I, they just have a lot of work going on in general. I will let you know, Nick Nick kind of yanks this one a little bit. Kind of overdrew it down the left-hand side. Didn't go super long. Then Boris on this long par 5. Yeah, that was a little faster tempo, but he matched that one up really nicely. Boris hit it really well right down the middle. You can see a lot of these holes are kind of minor bowls. That one was a little long in the backswing, but really good sink on the way down. I hit that really well. Right next to Boris. And ever since I started talking poorly about my three wood and talk about, talking about replacing it, I've been hitting this shot. Kind of like a jump in front fade. So that, w that wasn't very good. I advanced it fine, but just wasn't very good. And here's Boris. Looks like his three wood. He's probably 250 out or so. Again, watch his tempo. You can see that was a little faster than his normal super, super syrupy tempo. So it's very long. This is like, I think I shot it. I think it's like a 45 yard or 50 yard. No, it's like a 45 yard bunker shot. So this is a pitching wedge that I'm going to hit fat and hope to run, run, run it. And that was good. That was good for what I was trying to do. Tough shot. Yeah, why would you play that for? Similar, I mean, this is a fat pitching wedge. I usually, I don't use anything other than 54 and 58, but okay. I just, I would probably square it up more and just try to hit closer to the ball. I know. I can spin I, it I, into it takes practice time. Huh? I still don't yeah, I don't really practice it either. Though. Okay, here I am putting for birdie. And I kinda nuked that one. I wasn't that far away. It looked like it was really uphill, but it wasn't, so this is to save my par. That was the last, that was as weak as it could have gone and been still falling in. We have, we have an island green here and we're going to do a special challenge between the four of us. Closest to the, the hole wins one of these awesome La Quinta High School hats <laughs> for whoever hits it closest. I could use a hat. And uh, uh, yeah, you could actually. And uh, if anybody hits it in the water, they have to, uh, I don't know, they have to give a hat to somebody, to somebody else. <laughs> Something like that, hat challenge. Challenge. I'll, 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 give, I'll donate a ball to the lake. If I hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I will graciously not retrieve it. <laughs> All right. So here's Boris. This is a really pretty hole, kind of like the sawgrass hole. It is an island green, uh, or an extreme peninsula green. Mm. 
less penal than the Alcatraz hole, yeah, no pun intended. All right. Over on the state on the stadium course. So he's pin high, just pulled it left just a little bit. Here's Andrew. Oh, that's wet. Yeah, oh, An that's Andrew hit that fat. So oh. that oh. splashes and goes in the water. These houses that you see around this course, they're really cool to, to rent out and stuff like that. And if you go in off season, like you can get them on Airbnb and things like that for like really not very expensive. That was all right. Kind of uh, hit down a little bit too much on it, didn't sweep it enough, but it got on the green, right in line with the flag. Is that on the green? Yeah. 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 Closer than the bars? Maybe. Lead in the clubhouse? Uh, Hard to tell. <laughs> Cause mine's short and yours is pin high, huh? No, I'm not closer than Boris. Boris is about three steps closer than me. So here's Nick Conaway. Nobody gets ahead if he hits it closest. Look out, thin to win. It could be really good. Yeah, it actually wasn't thin. It was it was actually just yeah, good shot. Nice, bro. straight up good go, shot. Nick. Nick has about twelve to fifteen feet for Birdie. This is me for Birdie. You could see that was actually a little come over the top move with with that one. I made that and then here is Boris for his birdie. No. Good par for Boris though on this hole. Any par is good. But what would be better than par? Yeah. Thank you. Great birdie. Yeah, awesome birdie by young Nick there. Uh, 17 years old. He'll be going to college next year. And he actually is not, he's a very good player. He's not interested in playing college golf. But uh, it's the type of thing where he's not going to, I don't think he's really super pursuing it, but he would do it. So. Um, I don't really know what his thoughts are on college golf, but it's gonna be lumber for this third, second shot. This is a <laughs> super long dogleg right, par four. So Boris hit a hook, so he, that's why he's saying he's gonna have a long shot. No. That was a jump in front, off the toe fade. I'm actually not in that bad of a spot, but I tried, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, way in front of it. Yeah, all the way down in the green grass at the bottom. Oh, okay. Flat line. Yeah, your hips fired so early on that one. Yeah, that's exactly the opposite of what I'm trying to do. Monty's all about the other way, right? Yeah, so is that Tony guy that I'm following now. Right, so Andrew made a good observation of how early my hips fired on this one, which is exactly what I'm not trying to do. You can see. See that jump up move? Nothing good happens once I do that. So here's Andrew, and he had a big fade. He's over there, cart golf with Boris. See, everybody had the second shot in their mind when they were hitting the driver, you know. <laughs> Nobody hit it good. Okay, after wiping the tee shot, here I am faced with a really tough shot because the ball's above my feet and I have to fade this. And if you can see that palm tree, kind of sideshow Bob looking palm tree straight ahead, Anything left of that is water. So this and that tree to the right is blocking a fade. So I thought I hit a perfect shot, but it actually went into the water. So this is me chipping. Now, uh, if I hold this out, it will be a par up and down for bogey. So that's more more like pitching actually. And I hit a great pitch there, so that was, that felt great to hit that shot because I've been struggling with that a little bit recently. And then I had this to save my five and for two over on the front. Great putt. Some people have been asking me some stuff about my putting, no, I so I think I'm going to do just like a, a straight up putting video coming up pretty soon. All right, tenth hole, really uh, good looking hole. Boris with less than driver. Went right down the right hand side, really good. Seventy yards. Yeah, Andrew had said something to me about my hips going way too early, so I really wanted to concentrate on having a great sequence. All right, watch this sequence, Andrew. This will be better for you. So I'm really here concentrating on my downswing. I'm going to just feel like a big block, like nothing's going before anything else all together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was better, right? Oh, beautiful. 
Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, if you like hitting it in the perfect spot. All right. <laughs> if you're about hitting you don't like this spot down the middle. Of the <laughs> Come on, baby. Dude, I'm the same. I go <laughs> boom and then. Oh, your body just wants to. It thinks this is gonna do something. It doesn't oh, do anything. Yeah. Yep, that's the frustrating part about golf. Here's Andrew. Hit it down the right hand side. Good, good drive. Great sequence. Sequence. Great tempo for Boris. Heavy? Nothing good. Yeah, but a, a little, a little fat, or a little off the toe, which cost some distance for him. This is a wedge shot. Only have about a hundred yards in. A little, actually, less than that. I only have about eighty-five yards in. But um, I was a little lazy on the downswing there, and. Uh, Blocked it short, then had Where that for birdie. Card ran out, mm -hmm. but I made that one. All right, Nick, I'm gonna get this hat from you sooner or later. If I tie you on this hole, you're gonna give me that hat. <laughs> Any hat like that. I thought Nick's La Quinta High School golf hat was really cool looking, so. And he said that he had like a surplus of them, so um, I was trying to, to win a hat from him by shooting. But just if I could uh, match his score on this. Nick hit a good drive, so nice. Alright guys, on that last hole, the card filled up, but I made that putt, so I'm two over on the round right now. Two over on the front, par on 10. And a good drive, I mean, it wasn't a great drive. It was an awesome drive on 10. That was an okay drive right here. And somebody just found my phone and returned it. So all in all, pretty good day. This is gonna test the windscreen of this microphone. Gorgeous course, gorgeous golf course, for sure. All right, so another good drive on a par five leaves me with another three wood in my hand and hit the same kind of shot. Get in front of it. Slid in front of it and uh, hit kind of a, a low fade. It was all right, okay. just not great though. So look at the map, I don't know what's there. I don't think anything too bad. No, I think I'm all right. And here's young Nick with uh, his three wood, maybe Looks like his feet are pointed right and the face is pointed left a little bit. That won't hurt you though. And uh, yeah, I just think his setup Run. Was, was a little messed up there. So I just have 71 yards here. This is a 60 degree wedge, the Titus SM6 that I have. See the shadow of my tripod. Hit a great shot here. Come on! <laughs> there, going to grab the hat. Giant divot. Half of a Kinta in that divot. What a pelt. But it was a good shot, but I could I could do well with uh, taking less divot. Putting. All right, here's Nick for birdie, and I'll tell you that he made this putt because, uh, I'll only have to tell you that he made it because for some reason this camera just shuts itself off every once in a while, which is super annoying, or I don't know, maybe I did birdie, something right? wrong. Birdie, right? Eagle. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So Boris, Boris made it eagle. I, I haven't been keeping track like I wanted to, but he's made at least three birdies and an eagle in just this uh, kind of relaxed round. So he can he can go pretty low. This is for my birdie. That was a bummer. I oh, used wow. to make those regularly. Oh, no problem at that's all. That's golf. Oh. Well. And I will again, I just have to get used to it. The weight of this putter is a little more and I'm, and I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it a little open, which uh, actually I can feel, so then I end up yanking it. So I just have to, uh, I actually have since then kind of fixed this just by adjusting my grip, making my grip a little choked up on that putter. There we go, come on. Come on. Uh, those two guys didn't hit very good shots. I hit what I thought was a really good shot but then uh, came up short, but I'm in a good spot. Nick hit a great six iron uh, here. Draw, but it started at, it's going a little left. Yeah. There's, there's a big hill there. 
Oh, hit it far, far enough though. What club was that, five? Six. Okay, so you hit it really well. Yeah, because it's 171 yards and Nick hit that about 181. Chipping here, so again, really concentrating on my chipping. And uh, that was good. Yeah, no D cell or anything like that. The practice swings were better than the real one, but still. There was kind of a look at my grip a little bit. So made a par. And that is the end of my vlogging at Nicholas Tournament Course. It was getting really dark by this point. And I was still two over. I went on to play, I think, like three more holes or something you know, like that, just like quick. It was like super dark by the time we got there. We only got to about 16, I think. Oh, Nick, Nick has this putt for his par. After he hit it to about 30 feet. And then uh, this is, you can't see the hole here. This is sometimes why I do like to leave the flag stick in, even though, uh, even when I'm putting. Nick has this for his par, and you can see his whole routine he's really trying to go through. Uh, I will let you know that I had some good news regarding the Be Better Golf School, that a, uh, a really, really, really great course has just signed on to let us have it there. So it's looking like March 11th and 12th. So if you're interested in that, Be Better Golf School with Tony Lutzak, uh, World Long Drive Yo, Champion from 2014, right Jeff Flagg, and I'll be there as well, uh, send me an email at uh, bdivorce76 at gmail.com. Like All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.